Hi, I'm Nick Ivanov, and today with my advisor, Dr. Chiben Yen, and our collaborator, Dr. Wong, we are delighted to present Blockumulus, a scalable framework for smart contracts on the cloud. First, I will introduce the problem, then I will talk about the design of Blockumulus, then I will talk about evaluation of Blockumulus in the real world scenarios, and then conclude with a few final words. Let's get started. Blockchain is notorious for its uh, trade-off between performance and decentralization, which is known as the blockchain scalability problem, which manifests itself in limited computation, uh, bounded data storage, and insufficient transaction throughput. Uh, in this work, we propose a shift of approach. Instead of uh, delivering uh, a scalability to blockchain as a done in previous works. We instead uh, trying to port uh, the properties of blockchain into a distributed system which is already scalable. And our question is whether such uh, system exists. And yes, uh, the, the answer is yes, this is cloud. But if we look at uh, the properties of the blockchain and properties of the cloud, we see that they form disjoint sets. And our next question is whether it's possible to merge those sets and create a distributed system which is uh, decentralized and secure as blockchain and scalable as a cloud which leads us to three major insights behind this work. First, we show in this work that uh, it is possible to deploy and run smart contracts on the cloud. Also, we show that those smart contracts could be uh, fully decentralized, just like on the blockchain, with the help of the blockchain, actually. Also, we show that we can prevent cloud providers from uh, from affecting the execution of those smart contracts uh, by treating those cloud providers as utility and not as a platform. And uh, this leads us to our solution, Blockumulus. The potential application of Blockumulus galore, we can run financial and banking and, banking and payment applications worldwide. We can uh, create super secure, very large uh, databases. We can create encrypted uh, account management systems. And there are so many applica other applications that traditional uh, blockchains uh, practically cannot uh, support. Also, if we compare Blockumulus with existing works that try to address the uh, scalability of blockchain, we see that only Blockumulus allows to uh, fulfill the four uh, major uh, properties. First, it allows to uh, deliver uh, a fully expressive Turing complete smart contracts. And also it delivers a scalability, significant scalability improvement in all of the three aspects in transaction throughput in storage and in computation. None of the existing works allow to achieve all the four properties at the same time. Now let's uh, look at the design of Blockumulus. Blockumulus includes a consortium of cloud and an Ethereum smart contract. It also has clients that deploy uh, contracts and submit uh, transactions and independent auditors that verify correctness and integrity of Blockumulus execution. The clients submit transactions to Blockumulus smart contracts, which we call B contracts. And also consortium of cloud is uh, made of independent cells. Cells could be uh, servers, supercomputers, clusters, whatever allows to execute the Blockumulus smart contracts. And cells uh, periodically report the results of their execution to the Ethereum smart contract. Uh, those reports, along with open data and execution, are consumed by independent auditors who verify that the execution is uh, correct and honest. Uh, 
As we can see, the combination of independent cloud cells and Ethereum smart contract allows to uh, create the distributed system, which is scalable and uh, decentralized at the same time. Let's see how a typical Bacumulus transaction actually works. So a client submits a signed transaction, which is committed to a service cell. Service cell is the cell with which client has the utility subscription uh, or a Bacumulus access subscription. This service cell forwards the transaction to all of the other cells, which within certain deadline, uh, synchronously execute the transaction and submit it back to the service cell. The service cell then aggregates those cryptographic confirmations and sends it back to the client. Now let's see how uh, well uh, Blackimbalus performs in the real world. We, uh, 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 we tried three uh, deployment profiles with two, four, and eight cells. Uh, under the normal load, as we can see, uh, the latency of execution of one transaction is just a few seconds, faster than uh, traditional blockchains, uh, many times faster. And uh, under the stress tests with uh, uh, tens of thousands of transactions, we see that uh, Blackumulus also achieves very fast execution and allows to execute all those transactions within one uh, minute. Also, we observe this bulk discount effect in which the more transactions we submit, the higher the transaction throughput is. It is because uh, of various optimizations in routing, caching, and parallel execution. In conclusion, we deliver Blackumulus, uh, the framework that allows to deploy and execute smart contracts in the cloud uh, and achieve scalability in storage, computation, and transaction throughput all at the same time. Blackumulus allows to achieve decentralization uh, uh, using an Ethereum smart contract. And Blockumulus allows to uh, support applications that traditional public blockchains cannot support because of their uh, scalability limitations. And this work was done in Secure and Intelligent Things Lab at Michigan State University. Thank you for your attention and I'm ready to answer your questions.